Welcome back to AM Northwest. And now, here to tell us about the latest breakthroughs in breast augmentation, we welcome back from Gorin Plastic Surgery and Med Spa, Dr. Aaron Gorin. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so there are some new implants for women who are interested in breast augmentation, right? There are. So, uh, a very brief history, um, there have been two main implants for the last number of years. The silicone implant, which mm -hmm. is right here, and the saline implant right there. All you kind of feel those two, kind of take it, you see how they feel a little different, don't they? Yes, they do feel yeah. different. This one feels more like a water balloon. Mm -hmm. This one gets filled up with this tube. When we stick, when we put this in and fill it up, the tube comes off and there we go. Okay. Uh, the problem is this one feels so much more natural. So for my practice and most practices, we're using mainly silicone implants. Last year, this one came out, which is the gummy bear implants. Take a feel and of that one. And it feels real. Yeah, it feels real. It also feels, uh, got this sort of weird surface on the front, yeah, right? Yeah, it does. Um, and uh, this helps uh, the implant sort of stay in place. But the most important thing is, if I hold this one up, it sort of uh, has a teardrop shape to it. Which is a natural like look, yeah. And when I turn it upside down, it even holds its shape like... Oh, wow. So we want to keep it in, in position, hence the kind of sticky surface. Oh, okay. But, uh, for the right anatomy, this uh, gives a more of a natural appearance to the breast, the end shape, than the is, other two. Is there less risk of, of anything draining out? or? Well, yeah, so um, the, the silicone implants uh, don't uh, necessarily leak as much okay. as the old silicones did. These ones leak even less, if, if at all. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one in half. You call this like the gummy bear one, Gummy right? bear implant, exactly, okay. uh, because it's got, got that little uh, firmer surface to it. Okay. So we're going to just kind of chop this one right in half oh here. Oh, my gosh. And just kind of show you... Wow. That even cut in half, the silicone doesn't want to run out. It stays mm. on the inside. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So, uh, in other words, it's a very cohesive silicone. Right. It holds its shape. And so it's not the right implant for everybody, but for certain anatomy, this is a perfect implant. How do you know what is the right implant uh, for you? Generally, um, it's, uh, it all depends on, on what the breast is looking like initially. If it's very, very flat and tight without much volume and the nipple is a little bit low, this is a great implant for that to give a more of a natural shape. Are there, who wouldn't choose the gummy bear implant? Typically, um, uh, patients who might need a breast lift or have a little looser skin, typically moms or uh, women uh, looking for, say, uh, a breast reduction that need a little volume up top. Okay, and so any other tips when it comes to deciding what, which one would be right for you? Uh, generally, uh, patients who are looking for the most natural appearance and the natural, uh, most natural feel mm -hmm. are going to stick with silicones. For okay. the right anatomy, though, depending on what we see in consultation, uh, we'll either choose the standard silicone or the new gummy bear teardrop implants. And do you help people decide what, which one to pick Absolutely. if you don't have any idea? Right. For, during the consultation, we go through all the different options. We try in sizes. I give, I, we go through pictures and talk about uh, um, how the, uh, the surgery is done. Who's a, an ideal candidate for a breast augmentation? That's, Oftentimes, isn't it new moms who've gone through breastfeeding and all of it's that? It actually goes to the, the gamut. I, okay. I've, I've, I've had patients that are in their 18, 19, 20, um, without any kids and up to in their up into the 60s because implants not only are for increasing size but also will use implants for better breast shape in conjunction with a breast lift or even a breast reduction. You you have a video blog now don't you? I do this is a pretty exciting situation that we just started it's a video blog on KE2.com and it goes through a variety of different topics our first one is, is being launched um, right now and it talks about the gummy bear implants. Okay. Uh, we also have other blogs coming up uh, discussing things like Fat reduction with cool sculpting, um, all therapy for skin tightening of the face, liposuction, tummy tucks, uh, arm lifts, uh, all those uh, different types of concepts. Okay, um, you also have a special deal going on right now too, don't you? That's right. Uh, so we have, uh, if you were to book your breast reduction by the end of next month, we get uh, two free uh, micro peels, which are a nice uh, treatment for the face to improve the texture of the skin. Okay, and we want to tell folks to check out Agoran Plastic Surgery. Give them a call, 503-692-7222. And, of course, as we always do, we'll put all the information for you on our website at k2.com, which is where also you can find your video blog. That's right. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much.